Assalamu alaikum, Leif. Wa alaikum assalam, Layla. What are you up to? I'm looking for a uh, ayat al kursi. I'm sure it's verse number 255 of Surah al Baqarah. Ah, there it is. I'm learning that surah too. Did you know, Layla, that reciting Ayat al Kursi has so many amazing benefits for us? Yes, I do. Let's remind all our friends watching about some of the benefits of Ayat al Kursi. Great idea, Layth. If we recite it when going out of our house, Allah has a group of angels that will come with us and protect us. If we recite Ayat al Kursi before going to sleep, Allah will send an angel to come and look after us and protect us. If we recite Ayat al Kursi immediately after each prescribed prayer, there will be nothing standing between us and entering paradise except death. If we recite Ayat al Kursi in our house, then Shaitan leaves. If we recite Ayat al Kursi after every prayer, our dua will be accepted and we will remain in the safety of Almighty Allah and He will protect us. SubhanAllah, so many benefits. We should try our best to recite Ayat al Kursi during all these times. Now let's learn how to recite Ayat al Kursi with Layth. Ayat al Kursi أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع قرسيه السماوات والأرض فلا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم. We should all try to learn and memorize this great ayah. And Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum. Layla, let's do some ball juggling. Not too loud, Layth. You'll disturb the neighbours. Okay, I'll go first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ah. Okay, your turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Honey, look what you made me do, you naughty cat. It's okay, Layla. You can have another turn. <laughs> look, Layth, is that Imam Nuruddin? Hmm, I think it is. I wonder what he's doing up there. Let's go see him. I'll go ask Dad if we can go. Dad, can we go to the apple tree to see Imanuruddin? 
Please, Daddy, can we? Okay, but only for a little while. It's almost bedtime. We won't be long, promise. Thanks, Daddy, you're the best. Assalamu alaikum, Imam Nuruddin. Oh, I didn't even see you coming. Wa alaikum wa salam. What are you both doing up here? That's what we want to ask you, Imam. I come up here whenever it is a clear night to see the beautiful stars, another amazing creation of Allah. Subhanallah, there are so many tiny little stars. <laughs> You're right, Laith. But what you see in the sky are not tiny stars. They are in fact huge in size. <laughs> Did you know that the closest star to us is the sun? The sun is a star? Yep, it sure is, Laith. The sun is made up of hot burning gases that give off huge amounts of energy. That's the energy that keeps everything on Earth alive. But the sun looks so small. That's because it's far away from Earth. Right, Imam? Correct, Layla. The sun is actually... Much bigger than Earth, you could fit 1.3 million Earths inside the sun. Wow, that's enormous. It must be the biggest star in the whole universe. There can't be anything bigger than the sun. But there is. There are stars that are billions of times larger than the sun. So how big is the universe? Well, it takes around 100 billion stars to make up only one galaxy, and the universe is made up of billions of galaxies. The universe must be the biggest thing ever. It's the biggest thing we can see, Layla, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created much more bigger things. Like what, Iman? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created seven heavens, and our universe is below the first heaven. Seven heavens, MashaAllah! That's right, Laith, and the distance between each heaven is 500 years of travel, and at the speed only Allah knows. But there's something even bigger than the seven heavens, and that is the footstool of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is called the Kursi of Allah. This is even larger than all the seven heavens. Kursi? That sounds familiar. That's from Ayat al-Kursi. That's right, Laith. And Allah's Kursi is so big. How big, Iman? Well, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, gave us an example of its size. He وسلم, said that if we take a ring and throw it in a big desert, then the ring is like the seven heavens. And the Kursi is like the desert, meaning there is no comparison to them. Because the Kursi is so much bigger that you cannot even see the ring in the desert anymore. Wow! Subhanallah! I can't even imagine anything that big. Well, there is one more creation bigger than the Kursi. Huh? Even bigger than the Kursi? What is that, Iman? Yeah, Imam. What is it? It is the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called the Arsh of Allah. This is again so much bigger than the Kursi, just like the ring is to the desert. Wow! Allahu Akbar! That is amazing! It sure is amazing! And now imagine how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Creator is. Life. Layla, it's time for bed. Are 
I thought you two were never coming back. Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad. Wa alaikum assalam, Imam Nuruddin. Good to see you. Dad, Dad, did you know that our sun is 1.3 million times bigger than our Earth? Is that so? And there are billions of stars that are millions of times bigger than the sun. Allah, you have both learnt so much. And did you know that? How about we go inside and get ready for bed and then you can tell me all about what you learnt. <laughs> now thank Imam Nuruddin for the wonderful night. Jazakallahu khairan, Imam Nuruddin. Wa ayyakum kids. It was my pleasure. We'll see you at Fajr tomorrow morning, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. Sleep well. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Look at the sun, look at the sky, look at the bird, it's flying so high. Look at the stars, shining so bright in the middle of the night. Oh look, there's a shooting star. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created everything. What about that tree, so beautiful and green? Can you see the wind brushing those leaves? Look at the fish swimming away in the beautiful ocean under the waves. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created everything. Yellow pink flowers with a buzzing bee Isn't it amazing how honey comes from bees? Oh look, there's an elephant washing his feet So many beautiful animals, look and you'll see Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created everything Beautiful plants, so many different shapes White fluffy clouds, they send down the rain Can you see the rivers? Can you see the mountains? Can you see the spider weaving its web? Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created everything, everything and everything Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today, I have a wonderful hadith to share with you. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There are two words that are light on the tongue, heavy on the scale, and Allah the most merciful loves them. These words are, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al-Azim. They are so easy to say. You can say these words almost any time. You can say them while riding your bike. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al-Azim. Or going for a walk. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi means, how perfect is Allah? And all praise and thanks are due to Him. And Subhanallah al means, How perfect is Allah the Great. Let's try to say them as much as we can, because if Allah loves them, then He will love us for saying them. To help us learn this dua, let's repeat it three times. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanallah al-Azim Subhanallah wa bihamdihi 
سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم Till the next reminder, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak, everyone. Yay! Ramadan is finally here. It's the best time to do lots and lots of extra worship, such as reading Quran, praying to Hajjud at night. Giving lots and lots and lots of charity to the poor. Learning new hadith. And studying the lives of the Prophet. Ramadan is also a great time to eat iftar with family and friends. But remember, don't overeat or you will get a sore tummy. That's right, Laif. Ramadan is the month of fasting, so eating less is best. You should always try not to get angry or use bad language. And we must avoid sleeping all day, going on the internet for too long, watching too much TV, or playing games on our devices for a long time. Ramadan is the best time to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our iman. We hope you all have a great Ramadan and achieve all your goals. Let's now listen to Zaki's Ramadan song together. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan is the month of mercy. Ramadan is the month of fasting. Ramadan is the month of giving and helping those in need. Ramadan is the month of the Quran, the month in which it first came down. To Prophet Muhammad in year 16, a guide for all mankind. Ramadan for fasting, for giving, Ramadan for praying. Be patient, Ramadan, for giving and feeding, Ramadan, we love you, oh Ramadan. Ramadan is the month of patience, Ramadan is the month of sacrifice, Ramadan is the month of praying in the mosque for Tarawih. Ramadan is such a fruitful month for gaining lots of hasanat. The devils are chained and Jahannam is locked for all of Ramadan. We don't eat food. No. We don't lose our temper. No. We don't drink anything. No. We don't sleep all day. No. We read Quran. Yes. We pray a lot. Yes. We help the poor. Yes. Increase our faith. Yes. In Ramadan. Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan. Ramadan, 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 Ramadan,
We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Assalamu alaikum.